Hello and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest gaming news, rumors, and speculation. And apparently when I woke up today, I chose chaos because I shared what seems to be a controversial opinion about our beloved Daedric Lord Obsidian. The Obsidian militia assembled in record time and entered formation, laying siege to my Twitter profile as if this was some sort of reenactment from the console war days of old, or present still, un unfortunately. But today I plan on breaking my opinion down on top of breaking down the fairly huge information regarding Obsidian that somewhat recently came forward. Also at the same time I got somewhat of an update straight from the source of all this information as well that legit changed my opinion a lot regarding all of this. So with all this in mind let's not waste any more time and get into today's content. So back during spooky season 2021 insider Jez Corden dropped some pretty exciting and ambitious news regarding Obsidian during an episode of the Xbox 2 podcast cast that took place on October 16th, and for the record, Jez is a trusted insider indeed who has been correct about various things including Obsidian in the past, so his statements do definitely carry some weight. However, as always, unless something comes straight from the developers themselves, it should always be taken with some of that speculation salt. Either way, trusted insider, astronaut, and railway magnate Jez Corden stated that Obsidian has a pretty ambitious internal goal set for themselves. They aim to release seven games within the next seven years, as well as set up their own republic on the moon called the Free Star Collective. Only one of these is true. And while this is something Obsidian is definitely no stranger to, as they have released yearly games in the past, some of which were actually fairly amazing games on top of this, still, any time I hear any studio ever state that they want to release yearly games for a large period of time, I can't help but feel a little concerned. When I hear something like this, I think time crunch. I think rushed products in order to meet that deadline. I think forced skooma intake in order to increase productivity. Where do I sign up to work at Obsidian? But luckily, this doesn't seem to be the case regarding this specific circumstance, as Jez himself responded to my tweets of concern and gave some more information that settled my nerves a bit, and hopefully anyone else's as well. Thank you, Jez. First off, several of these games will indeed be smaller projects, so not as large in scale as, say, Avowed or The Outer Worlds 2, which I did actually know already, but regardless, look at it this way. Activate imagination glands. If I had I had a trusted friend who was an expert mountain biker, for example, and they told me they wanted to challenge themselves to bike across a lengthy and dangerous mountain path within a record time, I would definitely have concern for them, not because I doubt their abilities, but because there are other parameters, dangers, and variables during any challenge which could definitely complicate things and lead to potential negative outcomes. That's just the way of taking a challenge, otherwise, if there were no potential negative outcomes, it wouldn't be a challenge. It, I mean, there's reason to worry here. The same goes for Obsidian. They definitely know what they are doing 100%, and I trust in their abilities as they are one of my favorite developers and have been for many years now, but when they claim they want to undertake an ambitious goal, releasing seven games within seven years, regardless of the fact of whether or not they've done something like this in the past, I still have some concern. Multiple internal studios within Obsidian working on multiple different projects, although some being small scale, does carry its own complications that could affect the game dev process of any number of these titles. And to go a bit further with this explanation, I loved The Outer Worlds. Amazing universe, great writing, great RPG elements, hilarious characters, dark tone in just the right places, and the universe itself is one of my faves of all time. But there is no arguing against the fact that the game lacked in content in many ways, and in my opinion, even felt like an early access version of what the game could have been. So with The Outer Worlds in mind, and with everything else I just stated regarding the other complications that can arise from multiple internal studios working on multiple different projects, and with the goal of releasing a yearly game release for the next, like, seven years, it's this combination that led to my initial concern, which I shared in this tweet. Then the angry mob showed up outside. Daedric scamps were summoned in the dozens. Horns were blown from nearby rooftops as the Obsidian Free Army assembled to defend their queen. Just kidding, but also, not really. People really do love defending Obsidian and thinking that I just challenged them to an honor duel outside of the saloon simply for sharing my opinion, which clearly isn't the case if you actually paid attention to anything I said, but 
Jez told me something that resolved the majority of my concerns immediately, and hopefully the concerns of anyone else as well. This goal is just an internal one, a goal Obsidian set for themselves to push themselves to both release a game every year for the next seven years, like I keep saying, but also to allow themselves the chance to experiment and try new things, which is why Grounded is a thing. If they didn't allow themselves this parameter to experiment, Grounded wouldn't exist, and Grounded is overall a successful game. And even further, and the big thing here to keep in mind is that Obsidian won't force time limits upon the developers. They won't cut corners or do any other negative time-saving moves in order to meet this seven games in seven years goal. If it doesn't look like it'll happen either due to technical issues or development complications, then they'll focus on game quality first and set the goal aside, which is definitely the way and makes me feel a lot better about everything and makes me change my initial opinion. Set internal goals to challenge yourself to grow as a studio and broaden your creative horizons 100%, but the second you start forcing Forcing creativity in any sort of timeline, you are asking for problems. Thankfully, the timeline itself isn't set in stone over at Obsidian, and they'll focus on quality more so than the 7 year 7 games goal. I know I wasn't the only one who got a bit worried when they heard about this, so hopefully the further updates from Jez can help clarify any further concern. I do feel Obsidian has a solid chance to pull this off for sure, and if they do, they'll definitely get a lot of attention and respect, which they already deserve in the first place because they've been around for a long time and made a lot of legendary games in my opinion. And even if they can't pull this off, Jez has made it very clear that they won't focus their games into this release window. They'll give their titles the time they need while trying to meet their own internal bonus goals and this makes me feel a lot better and actually fairly hyped to see what awaits us in the years to come from Obsidian. That is basically everything I wanted to talk about today though. As always, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Be sure to subscribe to help grow the community and huge shout out and much love to the following amazing people for supporting the channel. Channel. Get your name added to this permanent future video shoutout list that will forever be featured at the end of every single one of my future videos by supporting the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. Links for all this and more are down in the description below, as well as a link for Skullsy merchandise and the Skullsy Discord server, which you should totally join, by the way, for free skooma. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when the internet got mad at me. And, I mean, I don't even care. It, it just works.